Okay, so we are going to do the last scenario, or the case four, where we're looking at um, um, what would happen if an object that starts on the ground and ends up uh, on the ground as well. Okay, so this is the um, this is this is the question that we have. This is what it looks like. The golfer hits the golf ball off the tee, giving it an initial velocity of 32.6 meters per second at an angle of 65 degrees with the horizontal. The green uh, where the golf ball lands is 6.3 meters higher than the tee. Find the time interval, the horizontal distance, and the velocity of the ball just before it hits the ground. Okay, so uh, that's a question that we're going to do. And uh, to start out, uh, we're going to start out in a similar fashion to everything that we've been doing so far. Okay. So first things first, let's start out with our VIX and VIY. And there is your VI, 65 degrees. Okay, VIX, cos of 65 times 32.6. What do you get for your VIX? 13.8 meters per second. And the next one is VIY, which is sine of 65 times 32.6. What do you get for your VIY? 29.6.5. Meters per second. So VIX, VIY. Um, and the next thing that we're going to do is take a look at our time, figure out what our time is. And again, to figure out my time, we're going to use delta Y, which equals to VIYT plus half AT squared. Okay. Now this is 6.3 meters. And VIY, of course, is 29.6T plus half times negative 9.8 times t squared. Okay, so 6.3 meters, which equals to 29.6t minus 4.9 t squared. Okay, put it in the ax squared plus bx plus c format, and you end up with negative 4.9 t squared plus 29.6t. And of course, I bring it over to the other side, minus 6.3 meters, which equals to zero. Okay. Uh, we're going to do uh, quadratic, of course, negative b plus minus b squared minus 4ac divided by 2 times a. So negative b is negative 29.6 plus minus 29.6 squared minus 4 times negative 4.9 times negative 6.3 divided by 2 times negative 4.9. Okay. So 29.6, what do you get squared? Eight hundred and eight seventy six point. Okay. And this is also going to be negative. So it's going to be negative, 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 three negatives. So of course we're going to end up with a negative. So 4 times 4.9 times 6.3. What do you get? 123.48. So subtract the 2 and then square root it. What do you get? So negative 29.6 plus... I'm hoping you're copying the question down as I do it. Yes, what do you get? 876.16 minus 123.48. When you square root the two, what do you get? 
All right, so those are our two times, and we're going to use our larger time right here to, uh, to figure out what we need to do next. So once we've got our time, we're going to be figuring out um, our range, delta x, which equals to vix times t. Okay, vix, of course, is 13.8 times 5.8. What do you get for your delta x? Thirty point zero four, eighty point zero four, zero four meters. This is how far away it's going to land. Okay, and the last part of the question says we need to figure out what our final velocity is. And again, for our final velocity, we are using the same method that we've been using all this time, which is okay. There is our VF. There is our VFX. And there is our VFY, there is your theta. So VIX, of course, equals to VFX, which is 13.8 meters per second. And VFY, to calculate it, A equals to, or A times T, plus VIY, which equals to VFY. A, of course, is negative 9.8 times 5.8. Okay, so we are going to start. Okay, so our VFY right here. Our VF and final velocity. 